from Pinpoint Weather 12. Already seeing the storm moving in. It's going to be around for a while, at least into part of the day on Saturday. Let's get a look at what's happening now. We're dealing with the rain so far, and occasionally it's been a little bit on the heavy side. We can see all of Rhode Island nearby Massachusetts is covered in rain. Where is the storm now? Well, it's well off to our south centered right about in there, and we're going to be seeing it probably not moving all that much. I was looking at some uh, computer model information and by Friday morning it's only about right in there. So it's just going to be sitting and spinning for a few days. Our threat tracker for today, tonight and Thursday at that medium level, it's possible that we could go up to a uh, high uh, chance of severe weather tomorrow because we are looking at the strongest of the storm to impact us, a strongest part of the storm to impact us tomorrow. Here's a live look at Providence. You can see that can't really see all that well. Visibility's poor with some rain in place, a little fog, 56 degrees, wind from the north, 16 miles an hour, temperatures across the area generally in the 50s. That's pretty much where they're going to stay throughout the afternoon. You can see rain covering all of southern New England, all the way back into Connecticut, some slightly heavier rain out there across uh, western Connecticut. So there's the storm right now. We're going to be seeing it, as I mentioned, basically sitting and spinning for the next couple of days with the rain continuing to come in batches. We have one potentially heavy batch of rain, the one arriving late tonight and tomorrow morning. In fact, I think tomorrow morning into the afternoon will be the worst period for this upcoming or for this storm with the rain and the wind combined. Here we are three o'clock in the afternoon, still raining and it'll be especially windy throughout the entire day. And we're looking at uh, rain continuing into tomorrow night and into the daytime on Friday. We broke down the timeline a little bit more for you. The storm continues to ramp up today with the winds picking up widespread rain for today. The worst of the storm again tomorrow. Damaging winds possible, especially along the coastline and southeastern Massachusetts. Heavy rain on Thursday. Friday, we'll have a stormy morning, but I think the storm kind of starts to wind down in the afternoon, but it's going to continue to be gusty all day. Forecast for today. Temperatures uh, only staying in the 50s with rain, some heavy, and the winds continuing to pick up. For tonight, we are looking at rain continuing to be heavy. Lows in the 50s with the winds continuing to strike. Then how much rain are we talking about? The worst of it will be over southeastern Mass, maybe four to six inches. Uh, New Bedford on off to the east, two generally up to four inches across all of Rhode Island. What kind of wind are we talking about? Maybe gusting to 50 miles an hour along the coastline of Rhode Island. That includes uh, westerly Narragansett, Newport, and over into New Bedford as well. But out on the Cape, including Block Island, could be seeing some gusts to 60 miles an hour. And there is a possibility for power outages best chance of that probably south and east of Providence where some of the strongest of the winds will be. Now we got the big Patriots game tomorrow. The Giants in town gonna be a chilly rain with east northeasterly wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour tomorrow evening there in Foxborough. Tough if you're going to the game for sure. Seven day forecast and we're going to continue to see the storm impacting us through most of the day on Friday. The worst of it on uh, Friday morning. However, Saturday some lingering showers. Here's a preview of the upcoming weekend. We have the Situate Art Festival. Autumn Fest in Woonsocket, and we are looking at lingering showers on Saturday. Sunday, we'll see improvements, a little bit warmer as well, and it'll stay dry into the daytime on Monday. Be sure to download the WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get live interactive radar, and you can track the storm yourself, your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. All right, thank you, TJ. Stay with us for stories coming up tonight. New starting live at 5 o'clock. Some emotional testimony on Beacon Hill for a bill that could change what happens to criminals convicted of killing a member of law enforcement what this legislation looks to bring back into Massachusetts. New at 530, what some believe